Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, December the 28th, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Microsoft that is saying that in 2018, we've got to do something about the password. That it's something that's kind of old and it isn't necessarily very, very good at protecting us. They're also saying that the password should not be anymore the first line of defense when it comes to our online accounts. Of course, there's other technologies like Windows Hello and also the authentication or two-factor two authentication with apps. But it says that the biggest problem yet is that the general public has no clue of what is security and how it could impact their own lives if they get hacked. Well, Samsung says, well, doesn't say, but in the forums on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, more and more people are claiming that when the battery goes to zero, they can't recharge it anymore. And it doesn't seem that the device wants to start up anymore. And basically, it's getting more and more complaints. Samsung has quietly offers um, replacement devices to anyone that actually has this issue. But it uh, doesn't look good. You know, last year was exploding batteries. This year is, well, devices don't start at battery zero. Uh, that's kind of not really good for the brand. Well, a analyst that looks at technologies every year on the PC side says, for the second year in a row, Microsoft did actually do some exciting things that made the PC more interesting. Not just with Windows 10, with its own devices that it is selling also. And they say that also the Windows 10 PCs on ARM are making the PC industry kind of interesting again. So uh, kudos to Microsoft for kind of reinventing the PC. So this is something that might be seen soon to, um, you know, a place near you. A new type of charging device. It's called charging at a distance. It has been approved by the FCC finally. And now that means you can actually charge your phone or other devices up to three feet away. Now, what that makes me a little uncomfortable with is the fact that to charge a device, you kind of have, you know, really high levels of electromagnetic radiation in there, which I don't know. I'm not sure I want to have one of those things in my home. So this is on the left side, the Lisa computer a uh, old computer and actually apple made so uh really kind of interesting thanks to uh something um called the computer history museum apple will release the source code of the original lisa operating system so this is going to be interesting and by releasing the source code of course it means that uh anybody can go and tweak it and try to make it work on other devices so experts talking about patents are saying too many bogus patents are being registered and they're actually making things very difficult for many startups that just want to you know have patents on different devices or different new methods of doing things and then they come up to uh, check it out and somebody has already had some kind of weird patent that kind of you know interferes with their own patent and it's getting really complicated that expert says there needs to be a cleaning of patents because it's really, really going nuts there. And that basically there needs to be an improvement also on the quality and how patents are actually accepted and approved. Well, what are going to be the trends of 2018? Um, will it be the year of quantum computing, artificial intelligence, self-driving cars, devices that are flexible and have flexible screens, what is going to be the technology next year? Will there be more internet attacks? Um, what do you think? And I'd like to have a friendly discussion with this here. What do you think? Why not leave the comment below under this video of what do you think 2018 will be as a trend? Um, there are some little pointers that seem to show that flexible screens might be something next year, but it's very, very difficult to really understand. Uh, quantum computing made its first leap in the past few weeks, but will that be a trend next year? It's going to be interesting to look at. And talking of trends, 
this year, 2017, a lot of people had thought, oh, augmented reality, virtual reality, that's going to be the thing. And, uh, well, we don't really hear much talking about this. And it doesn't seem to have been taking off. Is that another 3D? Making things look interesting, but in reality, not really much happening. Uh, kind of interesting here to see that. A uh, interesting study of the top 10,000 websites say that 30% of them now start using high-tech technologies, um, really high technologies to circumvent ad blockers. And actually, a lot of people don't notice that even with an ad blocker, they still have ads on some sites. And many are producing scripts that actually are used as baits to kind of make the ad blocker think it works when it actually doesn't really do anything. Also, 2018 might be the year where some big websites start saying, you got an ad block, you can't come here and you can't watch our stuff. And um, I think the, the fight for ads will be a big one because without ads, a lot of websites cannot survive. And using ad blocks will possibly make less and less interesting content appear on the web. And uh, <laughs> an interesting story here about uh, a brand. So a, these two guys started a Italian clothing company called Steve Jobs with the logo that you see here that has kind of similarities in some designs of Apple style logos. But the thing is, they decided to actually trademark Steve Jobs name because they noticed that Apple had failed to actually trademark Steve Jobs brand. So they got the brand. They actually trademarked it internationally. Now Apple wasn't happy. So in 2012, they sued the company and they said, hey, you can't do that. And uh, they kind of said, no, 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 they can't trademark Steve Jobs. It's impossible. This is not something that they can do. Well, the courts told Apple this week, Nope, there's nothing wrong in what I see here and that you can't do anything about it. So uh, I guess these guys had a very clever uh, way of basically doing money. And so this was the Tech News Update for Thursday, December the 28th, 2017. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you so much for following us on this channel.